everyone! Welcome to Doctors on TV! I'm Dr. Sarah Barba Cabodil. And naku, katulad po ng dati, meron na naman tayong interesting topic po na pag-uusapan ngayong araw. Pero bago po tayo magpatuloy, eh, nais ko muna po kayong imbitahan to please like our FB page, Doctors on TV. And don't forget to subscribe to Doctors on TV's YouTube channel. And remember to hit the bell para lagi kang updated sa medical information and healthcare tips. You can also watch us to you and TV News and Rescue's YouTube channel. Yung nga po, sa na-mention ko po kanina, no, magandang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw. Our topic today is coping with the effect of COVID-19 on mental health. Kasi mula po nang mag-umpisa itong pandemic hanggang ngayon, marami pa rin po sa atin ang balisa. May financial pressure po dyan, pangambang mawalan po ng tabaho, isolation from friends and family, at yung pong takot na magkasakit o mawalan po ng mga mahal sa buhay. Clearly, these changes and uncertainties are causing anxiety and depression. Aside from that, health experts have found that a significant percentage of people who contract COVID-19 are left with lingering impacts long after the physical symptoms disappear. The good news is there are natural remedies po that we can use para malabanan po ang mental impacts ng COVID-19. Is there a link between COVID-19 and depression? Although your COVID-19 symptoms have gone away, you still might not feel completely normal. Hundreds of COVID-19 survivors report an overall feeling of dread, anxiety, and sadness that make it difficult to go about their day. Keep watching and learn how to naturally remedy the mental impacts of COVID-19. Our guest today is Dr. Rodrigo Angelo Butch Cunanan Ong. He is a graduate of the Ateneo de Manila University, University of the Philippines de Liman, and the University of the East Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Medical Center. He is a board certified in medicine, chemistry, and acupuncture. In the fight against COVID-19, Dr. Ong has written and published two peer-reviewed articles on pandemic policy and government science advice in respected journals. His ongoing research includes the effects of COVID-19 on the mental health of healthcare workers, the impact of COVID-19 research operations, and defining traditional Filipino medicine in the medical anthropologic sphere. Welcome to Doctors on TV, Dr. Rodrigo Angelo Butch Gunanan Ong. At para po magabayan tayo, makakasama po natin ngayon ang isang magaling na integrative medicine specialist. Let's welcome Dr. Butch Ong. Hi, Dr. Butch. Welcome to Doctors on TV. Good day sa lahat ng mga nanonood at nakikinig sa ating uh, ngayong araw na ito. Ayan, at salamat po na isingit niyo po kami ngayon. Marami po tayong matutulungan sa mga maibabahagi po ninyo. At uh, ito po, no, ang pag-uusapan natin ay uh, diba, tungkol sa anxiety and depression. Ano po ba yung mga ano, sinyales, mga sintomas po na dapat binabantayan ng ating mga viewers no, uh, with regards to anxiety and depression? Ang uh, anxiety and depression actually uh, magkahiwalay yan na uh, mga diagnosis no pero nag-umpisa normally ng anxiety so doon tayo mag-focus no so uh, may mga certain behaviors and symptoms na matatagpuan sa isang tao na nag-uumpisa magkaroon ng anxiety no uh, isa dito yung uh, feeling niya na anxious siya parang uh, on the edge palagi no yung uh, madaling uh, magulat for instance no or madaling ma-trigger no sa isang memory o sa isang uh, activity na trigger siya no uh, yung isa pa ay worry lagi nag-aalala no at uh, hindi niya makontrol ang kanyang pag-worry uh, kahit anong gawin niya kahit na kahit na magbasa siya ng libro manood ng uh, video no parang hindi na nawawala yung pag-aalala at yung pag-aalala na yon ay sa maraming bagay isa pa ay uh, nahihirapan mag-relax Uh, so uh, that's one of the hallmarks ng uh, ng anxiety no uh, in fact sa, sa hirap na pag-relax hindi siya makaupo ng sa isang ano lang no sa uh, tayo, tatayo siya lalakad-lakad no and uh, also because of that uh, hirap matulog no uh, those are just some of the ano some of the uh, symptoms of anxiety at uh, marami sa mga pasyente ko din ay uh, irritable no <laughs> Madaling na irita. Uh-huh. Oh, konting ano lang, irritable na sila. So, um, oh, if you have these signs of ano, maaaring meron ng uh, nag-uumpisa na ang anxiety. Anxiety. Okay. How about depression, Doc? Well, sa depression, medyo mas higher ang ano niya. No? Uh, Kung baga, nawawalan ka na ng gana kumain kahit na 
paborito mong inumin or paborito mong pagkain, ayaw mo ng kainin. Uh, bukod sa hindi ka na nakakatulog, yung pag-alaga sa sarili. Ayaw mo ng maligo, ayaw mo nang mag- mag-supply ng buhok, magsipilyo, no? yung tinatawag natin self-care. No? And uh, of course, meron ka mga ideas, may ideations ka ng, uh, ng doom kaya or you know the dark ideas no na you want to inflict uh, pain sa sarili mo no and normally that will be that will last for depression for more than two weeks so when you're in that level already no okay, you need to seek professional help na pero mas maganda sana ang sayuti palang magpatingin na tayo sa isang espesyalista para hindi na mapunta sa depression so ito doc no ano ba yung mga immediate na mainam pong gawin pag nakakita na po ng ganitong mga sintomas whether po yung uh, the patient uh, himself or herself or lalo na po yung mga kasama ko sa bahay mga mahal sa buhay no kasi syempre maganda po yung minsan kasi pag wala tayong ID at all hindi natin alam yung babantayan so na, na, nakapagbigay po kayo ng ano ng mga uh, hint no uh, ibig sabihin nag-uumpisa na ang anxiety or depression ano po yung pwedeng gawin ng mga kaanak no, na nakakita nito? Una is to recognize it. Sa sarili natin, mahirap dahil tayo nagtitinay tayo kuminsan na kaya ko pa to or wala ito, kaya ko to. No? So, kailangan ma-recognize natin. And one of the things I, I tell uh, patients is relax. Mm-hmm. No? Do something that you enjoy doing. No? Uh, talk to family. No? At uh, may isa ko natutunan na uh, all throughout my integrative medicine uh, career no? uh, is the power of nature to balance to to re, para ma-reset yung ating harmony no meron sila tawag na for example in Japan na, na forest bathing na sila sabi nila no uh, they will walk barefoot no doon sa may garden sa labas no tumataas ang ang amount of endorphins in the bloodstream when you do it regularly no Well, kung walang garden, let's say you live in a condominium, uh, for for the uh, uh, viewers natin na uh, nakatira sa high-rise condominium, no, i-dim natin ang ilaw natin and mag-play tayo ng nature sounds. Yung waterfall, okay, yeah. birds chirping. No? So, those yeah. things can help actually uh, uh, relax you and to release your your tension. No? Uh, uh-huh. Aside from those things, no, uh, kailangan natin na uh, matuto to control what we take in, no? Kasi may mga tinatawag na binge eating or stress eating. <laughs> you know, the comfort food actually talaga ang natural na sa atin niya, no? When we feel stressed, no? we want to reach out for something uh, which we like, you know? And and that goes uh, in, in psychiatry. That goes way back to the oral stage natin, no? Nung baby tayo, no? At around age 1 or age 1 yes. to 4, no? Oral stage. Uh, but we must be, we must learn to control it, no? Because uh, we can have diabetes, we can have hypertension. No? Uh, there are a lot of ways yeah. you can do it, no? Uh, you can eat healthy foods. Yung, yung, uh, you can eat a salad, for instance, no? Uh, but uh, as much as possible, let's try to curb. Meron po bang link itong COVID-19 sa kaang anxiety and or depression? Well, on COVID-19, uh, because we were in lockdown for so long, no, especially the children and uh, of course the elderly, no, the ideations of wanting to go out and being restricted from going out is part of the stress, no. But uh, if you remember, uh, Doc Sara, there was a period in time that uh, nagkaroon tayo ng symptom na anosmia and agusia, that loss of taste and loss of smell. For COVID, I think that was in the alpha, the alpha variant. No? And don't uh, time yon. Oh no, some of the experts were now, uh, parang doing research on how COVID-19 can possibly affect the brain, because anosmia, loss of taste and loss of smell, those these are neurologic symptoms or symptoms uh, na nag-affect to, nag-affect to ng ating brain. No? So. Uh, as such, no, nagkaroon tuloy tayo ng possible link of COVID-19 to our psychiatric or uh, mental health. No? So it's possible that uh, the depression and anxiety due to COVID-19 goes beyond the social uh, sphere, which is uh, uh, loss of interaction with our friends, loss of interaction with our peer. No? Uh, but it, it could have a physiological or pathological symptom as well no so uh, all of these together naman no w- whether it's pathological meaning it affects the brain no or social the thing is 
it is a it is a reality now with COVID-19. No? Pero ito, Doc, no? bakit kaya nagkakaroon ng anxiety and depression yung ibang taong nagkaroon na po ng COVID-19 infection? Ako, yan po yung pag-uusapan natin ha, sa susunod na bahagi ng ating programa. Yes, sa aming mga viewers, wag po kayong bibitiyo dahil magbabalik po ang Doctors on TV. TV. everyone, you're still watching Doctors on TV with me, of course, Dr. Sarah Barba Kapodil and Dr. Butch Ong. At ito nga po, no, batay po sa obserbasyon ng ating mga kasamang doktor, hindi ka agad nagiging completely normal ang pakiramdam ng isang taong nagka-COVID kahit pa po nalagpasan na niya ang mga physical symptoms. Ang isang COVID-19 survivor ay posibleng makaranas ng pananakit ng ulo, tangihina at pangamba. Sa ngayon po ay pinag-aaralan pa ng mga eksperto ang long-term effects ng COVID-19 sa utak ng isang tao pero batay po sa initial report contracting COVID-19 can leave you with more than just physical symptoms. One of the lasting side effects of COVID-19 infection is depression. In the United States, over half of a COVID-19 survivor sample composed of 3,900 people reported symptoms of depression months after recovery. So, nako, ito po yung next question natin for Doc Butch. Doc, what causes depression po in COVID-19 patients and survivors? Well, uh, Doc Sara, sa ngayon, no, uh, the actual cause of long COVID no, uh, is not exactly known yet. No? So, only had COVID-19. No? Dalawang taon pa lang naman tayo uh, sa COVID-19. No? Pero alam natin ngayon na uh, bukod sa social effect ng uh, quarantine and the uh, social effects of uh, of uh, distance learning and uh, loss of jobs this cause depression and anxiety no sa ating mga kababayan no but uh, there there could be uh, a uh, pathologic effect of uh, the virus no mismo sa ating mga brain sa ating uh, uh, mental state no uh, these are all uh, nakikita na natin ngayon no uh, especially after the omicron no uh, kung kayo ay uh nagkaroon ng delta or omicron no uh, mas mas dumami actually ang number of patients kaya na may tinatawag natin long covid so in sabihin after nyo ma recover so 14 days kayo na na quarantine tapos na no you still feel the effect of covid-19 such as difficulty breathing or shortness of breath no loss of memory or shorter memory tinatawag natin brain fog no? so all of these things might still linger and uh Sa ngayon, the average is about uh, one month or three months ang uh, symptoms ng, ng long COVID. So, the cause of depression is, I, I believe, a uh, combination yan ng uh, loss of social interaction no? and possible effects of uh, SARS-CoV-2 sa ating brain. For example, wala hong nawala, nawalang nawala naman na mahal sa buhay, no? lahat sila ay nakasurvive. Uh, and then yet, nagkaroon ng anxiety or depression. Can we like attribute it to uh, COVID-19 po kaya? Not necessarily the SARS-CoV-2 virus, no, but the effect of uh, the prolonged quarantine, the effect of uh, of the lack of social interaction no, could uh, lead to uh, uh, anxiety or depression. No? So, for example, in psychiatry, yan sila tawag natin, not otherwise specified. Uh, so, kumbaga, walang pinpointed cause ng ating depression. No? Uh, so, these are things that we have to consider. Ito, Doc, ano, ano, ano po yung mga naging observations niyo po sa mga pasyenteng nagkaroon po ng anxiety naman at, uh, you know, brain fog dahil nga po sa COVID-19 infection. Alam ko po na until now current, kasi syempre marami pa pong nagsasuffer and this probably will take uh, like a uh, longer term kasi syempre ngayon meron pang mga nagkakasakit. No? Pero so far at this time po, ano yung mga nakita niyo na sa mga existing patients natin? Well, uh, sa brain fog, no, uh, ito ay uh, kumbaga short term na makalimutin. <laughs> so, uh, yung mga short term mm. memory natin, no, ay uh, maaring uh, ma- ma- matamaan, no. Uh, but uh, many many patients uh, report that uh, for example, meron silang gustong i-express. Hindi na ma ano yung yung uh, the words here at the tip of their tongue, no. And uh, the brain fog no uh, sabi nila no happens in a very short time no pero ngayon nakikita natin na uh, even after recovery from covid-19 after about a month no uh, makalimutin pa rin no uh, yung mga tao we still actually want to do more research on the brain fog no and how how what are the effects of brain fog it could be 
that the brain fog is linked to depression or linked to anxiety, no? or it could be uh, part of uh, the, the uh, pathology of COVID-19 affecting the brain. No? But uh, overall, uh, for those listeners who have uh, uh, experienced brain fog, no? it, it's very frustrating. No? The, uh, you want to remember some things, you want to remember some uh, some words, for example, that, that you want to express, but you cannot. No? So, uh, for for those who have uh, had this, no, uh, I suggest na you do the uh, exercises which I which I uh, laid out kanina, yung barefoot walking, yung relaxation techniques, no, all of this can help. No, maaring stress lang tayo. Oh, okay. And apart from that, po, doc, at least yung na mention yung po na yan, uh, hindi naman ganong kamahal do. Diba? Parang yun. Pero ano pa ho kaya yung mga or like pwede naman nila ding iwasan no? para at least hindi humantong sa pagkabalisa o you know, any form of depression po uh, sa sa part po ng ating mga kasangbahay na naku, nakaka-experience na gawa nitong ating mga pinagdaraanan do. Well, for one, uh, sinasabi ko sa mga kababayan natin is sometimes you have to unplug. Sometimes you have to turn off your device. Uh, turn off uh, Facebook. No? Uh, because it, it, uh, it there's a commonality sa depression no uh, social media can wreak havoc on your mind you know? so sometimes unplug your device no or uh, unplug nyo yung ano nyo, yung internet nyo and stay unwired no? for maybe a few minutes to half an hour no uh, that that's one way to uh, to release yourself from the stimulus no which causes depression no? and uh, for for all of these uh, things that uh, we have mentioned, no? relaxation techniques. No, perhaps one of the most important, really, is to is to diagnose yourself. No, uh, realize that uh, the stressors in our lives, no, are only temporary. No? The, the, these are just uh, fleeting. Pagkatapos ng pandemic, tapos na. No? But it can linger. The uh, brain fog and the, the depression and the uh, anxiety can last even after you have survived or or uh, come out of your quarantine period. No? So it it's really removing the stimulus and having a positive mindset. Yes, uh, thank you for those tips, Doc Butch. Ha? And syempre, gusto rin po naman namin malaman sa inyo kung ano-ano po ba yung mga natural remedies for anxiety and depression. Ako, pero bago nyo po sagutin yan, let's pause for a short break. Huwag po muna kayong BBT yung mga kasambahay dahil magbabalik po ang Doctors on, on TV. TV. The Department of Health released a statement reminding the public of adverse events after immunization amid social media posts showing children experiencing different post-vaccination reactions. DOH assures that a majority of those vaccinated have not reported any side effects, and of the few that experience side effects, most are mild and resolved within 24 to 48 hours. The Health Department reports that of around 8.8 .8 million individuals aged 12 to 17 vaccinated with at least one dose from October 1, 2021, more than 99% did not report feeling any symptoms after vaccination. 0.03% of those inoculated experienced mild reactions such as dizziness, pain in the injection site, and headache, which may be treated at home and may go away within two to three days. watching Doctors on TV. At ito po sa ating pong pagpapatuloy na pinag-uusapan pa rin po kasi natin ang anxiety and depression with our guest interrogative medicine specialist na si Dr. Bush Ong. But before we continue, we'd like to remind our viewers to never resolve to alcohol nor drugs ha, in order to cope with the fears that we have about COVID-19 and the pandemic po in general. Kasi ang totoo niyan, pinapalala pa po ng substances na ito ang anxiety at depression. Also, people with substance use is 
orders are likely to have worse outcomes if they get COVID-19. Alam naman po natin na ang addiction ay nakakasira ng baga at nakakapagpahina po ng immune system. So instead, ang dapat natin gawin is to learn self-care strategies. So ang susunod nating tanong kay Doc Butch ay ito po, ano, ano-ano po Doc Butch ang natural remedies for anxiety and depression? Oh, Doc Sara, maraming uh, paraan uh, to naturally uh, combat depression. No? So we have several herbs that we can try. No? Unahin natin yung aromatherapy. You can try uh, lavender oil or uh, peppermint no? uh, oil. Uh, i-infuse nyo yan sa isang uh, oil burner. No? So you can uh, uh, relax. No? Amoy nyo yan throughout uh, maybe about 30 minutes and uh, relax. No? Ilang-ilang. No? The essential oil na ilang-ilang also is a very, very good uh, parang pamparilak no it in it, it invokes kasi memories which are which are pleasant no uh, another one is uh pag ano when you eat lettuce no lettuce yung romaine lettuce the, especially the red one no oh, oh yeah. yung pula na lettuce na yan actually can help you uh, sleep no kapag tayo ay may anxiety kasi tayo makatulog kaya nang sinabi ko kanina no so it, it gives us more reason now to eat our vegetables especially uh, lettuce sa gabi no para matulungan tayo makatulog another one is uh, the essential oils of lemon balm no? uh, lemon balm is in the family of uh, mint no yung mint and uh, it it sometimes can be found in ano in yung mga yung mga specialized uh, pharmacies no or uh, uh, as supplements, no? so lemon balm is also effective in helping you uh, have better, deeper, and longer, a little longer sleep. No? Uh, and you'll be surprised, uh, Doc Sara, no? bakahiya. Alam niyo bakahiya? Yung nag, ipag, hinawakan mo, magsasara yung kahon. Ayos lang na hawakan din, tsaka ano, apakan, di ba? Nakakatawa yun. So ano bang benefits mula sa makahiya, Doc? Uh, yung makahiya naman ginagamit na traditionally ginagamit siya no so they get the yung mga ugat yung mga roots no o kuha ka na isang handful of uh, ugat no as you release mo yon no and then ibo boil mo siya in about 5 to 6 glasses of water and then you boil to steep it until about half the or one third na lang ng uh, tubig na natin kita and you take it as cha no? And uh, it will help you uh, with your mood. No? So for those who have depression, no? it helps elevate the, the mood and it also helps you with your sleep. So all of these naman, are available. Uh, aromatherapy is available. Lettuce, lalo na. And they're healthy pa yan. No? They're available naman yeah, sa atin. Okay. Saka hindi naman mahalang lettuce eh. Actually, di ba? Kaya yun. So, maganda yan. And Doc, di ba sabi nila pati mga breathing exercises talagang nakaka, nakaka-help yun. Actually, simple nisa niya kahit kinakabahan ka lang, di ba? But however, lalo na kapag ka kunyari meron kang anxiety, no? So, totoo po yung Doc na ang breathing exercises ay malaking na idudulot pang pakalma, di ba Doc? Paano po ba yung tamang breathing exercises? Ah, marami nagtatalong sa akin yan. Maraming techniques ang breathing exercises. But I'll share with you my favorite technique the breathing exercise. No? So, the first thing that you will do, yung, yung, yung dila natin, sa tang, no? it the touch natin yung upper part ng ating uh, palate. No? It's uh, behind the ngipin. Sa touch natin yun. Nakakonect sila. No? And then, uh, inhale ka uh, for about 6 seconds. So, 5 to 6 seconds. No? Inhale. And then, exhale through your nose for 10 seconds. So, mas matagal ang pag-exhale kaysa sa pag-inhale, no? And while you're inhaling, no? Uh, imagine your lungs being filled with air or parang balloon na lumalaki. Imagine nyo yan, no? And when you exhale, no? Relax your... All, all the muscles in your body, relax nyo. And imagine mo, ini-exhale mo ang stress. <laughs> imagine mo, ini-exhale mo yung cause ng stress. So, uh, that's that's one of my favorite uh, breathing exercises. No, it, it's very effective in uh, calming me down. No, it's also very effective in uh, promoting sleep. No, sa gabi. For COVID uh, breathing exercises, no, yung difference is yung pag exhale mo is through the mouth. No, through uh, yung first na lips. Imagine uh, that you're blowing a candle. No, very fine yung butas ng bibig. As, as you exhale at matagal ang pag-exhale no so uh, for this exercise syempre yung tang natin ibaba from the from the top palate no ibababa natin so that air can uh, can force through no 
So when we do this, we are allowing the lungs to slowly uh, release the uh, the air, no? So when you exhale, exhale lang matagal, pero yung yung uh, butas ng bibig natin is very fine para tayong gublow ng candle. You know? Oh, okay. So magkaibang attack. Kung kunyari for anxiety and iba rin pagka-COVID, no po? Pagka merong mga lung problems. So, okay. Dami natin natutunan sa inyo. Doc Butch, nako, very generous ang inyong mga inputs po. Thank you very much. Any last words po to our viewers, Doc? Oh, sa ating mga kababayan na nanonood sa programa natin ngayon, no? Uh, ang uh, laban natin sa COVID-19 ay laban natin as a culture, as a society, no? As a country, no? Tayo ay magtulong-tulungan kapag meron po tayong uh, kapamilya, member ng ating household, no? Or sa sarili natin, nakikita natin na may sintoma sa tayo ng anxiety and stress. Do act immediately bago siya mapunta sa depression, no? All the exercises and all the tips that we uh, shared with you today, no? Uh, they are all effective, no? But the thing is, kailangan pa rin natin ma-identify ng maaga. So, uh, the, this is not as easy as uh, you would think, no? Because normally, tayo ay, we, ano eh, we uh, deny, dinidenay natin na meron tayo anxiety, no? But at this point, no, malapit naman talaga na nakita natin bumababa na ang numbers natin ngayon sa COVID. The light at the end of the tunnel, nakikita na natin. No? So keep your hope no? and uh, mag- lakasan natin ang loob natin. Malapit na tayong uh, bumalik sa bagong normal. Ayan. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Butch Ong. And uh, salamat po sa lahat ng uh, tulong na ginagawa nyo at ng inyong uh, Uh, ahensya no po para sa ating mga kababayan. Thank you sa lahat na ibinahagi nyo ngayong araw at ang nararamdaman po namin ng inyong malasakit. And looking forward to having you back here sa ating pong programa sa Doctors on TV, Doc Butch. And uh, my husband and I will be seeing you soon. Thank you very much again. And uh, baka meron po kayong gustong i-announce or uh, would you like to promote your clinic, Doc, or any FB page po and any social media account? Well, actually, uh, ang trabaho ko ay sa Department of Health, PITAC, no? So, ako ay yung hepe ng uh, Research and Development Division, no? Uh, kung meron kayong mga katanungan or ano, gaya ng mga napag-usapan today, no? You can reach out to us, no? Ang, uh, uh, sa Facebook kami, no? Uh, lagay nila doon, Philippine uh, or PITAC, no? Lalabas ang aming, uh, ano, then you can message us, no? Or you can reach us through the number na 8282-9153 local 326 at ito po ay papasok sa division ko sa research and development. Thank you very much again, Dr. Butch Ong. And sa atin po mga viewers, salami po sa inyong lahat sa panonood niyo po. Uh, sana po ay uh, marami po kayo ulit natutunan sa uh, pagtutok niyo sa amin. And syempre, pinasasalamatan po natin ang uh, Mestiza Soaps. Mestiza Soaps are made with natural ingredients and combination of vegetable and fruit extracts which can be used by children and safe for pregnant women. Good news is that it is cruelty-free and vegan beauty. So for inquiries and orders, you may contact 0969-1754231 hanggang 33 and their landline po 8824-5217 and 8813-0320 Pinasasalamatan din po natin na ang Organic Asai Berry Support your health with a 100% organic superfood supplement Organic Asai Premium Blend and Asai Feast Dried Capsules Rich in powerful antioxidants Fiber amino acids Vitamin C Omega fats and other essential nutrients that our body needs to help build stronger immunity against illnesses and help increase your energy and Organic Asai is available in all mercury drugstores and all other leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. And meron din po silang organic as berry na coffee and for hot chocolate po. And of course, pinasasalamatan din po natin ang ating kapartner, ang Deped Santa Rosa, sa pakikiisa po sa ating adikain na maibahagi ang kaalamang pangkalusugan. And uh, of course, ang Clinica Figura po for your for inquiries and po Appointments, you may contact 0917-317-7272. Uh, thank you din po sa Medical Depot and sa Nom Nom Foods. Okay? And syempre, uh, I love you Nanay and Tatay. Happy birthday po kay uh, Nanay Nelly Cabadil. Ayan. And syempre, muli po, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Dr. Sala Barba Cabadil. Let's make it a habit to learn about good health. Only here at Doctors, Doctors on, on TV. TV.